It was a Friday night, and I was in bed, slowly rotting away, as you do when your mental health is declining once again, again, trying to eradicate thy emotions and thoughts for a fleeting moment. I'm on Insta Reels. Then I crawl into the dark abyss that is of TikTok. People obsessing whether or not they're old enough, pretty enough, money girl enough. People doing their 38th Sephora haul, but then, but then, that was the moment I discovered food wasting influencers. I hate you! Imagine that the entire world is feeling the consequences of the cost of living crisis amongst us. People are hungry, unable to access food affordably or safely, yet we're seeing the rise of food wasting influencers because likes and views matter more than just donating the food if you wanted to buy it to immediately give it away. But I almost forgot they would have to film that too and virtue signal to the masses that look what I'm doing. Instead of me going home and wasting all of this food, I, as a good person, decided to give it elsewhere. <sighs> It's not enough to make one video partaking in this nonsense, but to make multiple videos and base your entire existence off of wasting food is embarrassing to say the very least. Don't like my tone? Well, I'm sorry, I don't like what these people are doing. It's drone behavior, pure AI botness. And yet the people who say something about it are like, well, you're just hating, you're just hating. You wish you had that kind of money. Yeah, if I had that kind of money, I would be donating the food to people who need it at the most. I would not be wasting perfectly fine food because it would be one thing if these people were using expired food to do something little bit silly with it, but they're not doing that. A wannabe food influencer is seen here not rinsing her chicken, but scrubbing it with the crunchy side of the sponge. She ends up making an entire meal for her family with the chicken that she just put a bunch of chemicals onto. Or did she make the meal for her family that she just put a bunch of chemicals onto? Was this a bit to gain attention on social media by showing she's scrubbing her meat, then chucking it straight into the bin because it served its purpose to be used as a prop for rage bait content. And honestly, either way you slice the toast, it's bad. Serving the soapy chicken to her family or throwing away a perfectly fine chicken breast into the bin because it's just for the TikTok. Hee hee, ha ha, hoo hoo, goo goo, gaga. Another brainless influencer pops into the comments saying, lol, you're my favorite. Only to check her profile and in her bio it states that she is low income. Let's just put our, you know, thinking caps on for, for a secy. Babe, you as a low income earner should be the very last person encouraging this rage bait content. How is she your favorite? She is wasting food that not even you can afford. Because let's be so real here. This woman did not serve her family soapy chicken. She trashed that alongside with her noggin. This one is just confusing because this other wannabe influencer literally just douses her noodle, noodle with soy sauce. She doesn't even pretend to eat the noodles, just annoyingly stirs the bowl around for a minute. And kick them and soy sauce at that too in this economy? <sighs> you know someone's doing really well in life when you go to their house and they have the kikum and soy sauce out. That stuff is one of the most expensive soy sauce here in Australian supermarkets. It's just like I was just in Costco the other day stocking up on some essentials and one of those was a big bottle of soy sauce because I like to use it as a base for dressings and all sauces. And you know when you're at a sushi train or a sushi restaurant and you whip out the chopsticks and then you dip the chopsticks into the soy sauce and you just suck on her. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, babe. Uh, no one cares about your love for soy sauce, all right? My question is, what was the reason? Because the whole comment section was flooded with hate. Absolutely nobody likes people who go ahead and intentionally waste food for social media clout. And even further, you look dumb doing all of it. Now that the TikTok is posted and it's all finished up with, you have to pour that whole bottle of sauce down the sink in shame. The money that you used to buy that whole bottle of soy sauce just to pour it down the sink, you could have spent it on an actual cause 
was instead of doing it for TikTok, or I don't know, you could have just burnt your money or given that money away to that person who's trying to scam your grandma on Facebook. All of these other decisions would have gone down a lot better than whatever the hell this was. Now this one, this one pissed me the hell off. Got my gears grinding. Got my hatred for these people cranking. Because you just know she isn't eating any of this. But she'll show you a little eensy weensy teensy bite at the end. Just to give off the impression that she's actually eating the food when it's like, no, we know that you're just making this for rage bait. We know that you're just making this content just for you to throw the food away. Anyways. Upside down baked beans. Whenever these idiots flip the cans upside down on these sheet pans, do they really think we're sat here like, oh my God, that's literally so innovative. I've never thought about putting my cans upside down. They'll totes taste upside down, qua. Sliced potatoes, mashed potatoes, giant steak slices. This is our second steak here. Nah, because those steaks have got to be at the bare minimum $50 for the both of them. Yeah, it, it is a pretty high price, but come to Australian supermarkets and you will see how much the steaks cost, especially at that size. But it's all just gonna go straight in the bin after the TikTok. <sighs> Greenness onions, we have purple onions. We've got some Worcester sauce. We've got some Worcester sauce. The f did you just say? I know there's steak in here, but we're gonna use chicken salt. Those two animals go perfectly together. Some brown sugar. You can take the Canadians out of Canada. But you can't keep this maple syrup out of the Canadian's hands. Are you in my country, mate? Uh, are you in my city even if you are? Go away. <laughs> Go away! I use that chicken salt and I see that the maple syrup you're using is from Coles, an Australian grocery store. Get the hell out of my country. Uh, get out. Go back to America. You suck. You actually suck. And the fact that both Coles and Woolies, two big, big supermarket chains in Australia, are price gouging fellow Australians on the day-to-day -day basis, the costs of things are constantly rising. Like you'll go in one week and the coffee will be one price and it's not even on special. And then you'll go in the next week and the coffee is on special, but for some reason it's $5 more expensive. And here you are wasting this food. Not only am I gonna have to have you banned from the kitchen, but from Coles too, I thinks. Me thinks. But I guess now we know why she put the beans upside down because she's uh, down under, mate. <laughs> Crikey. Uh, throw you some shrimp on the barbie. Do you guys ride kangaroo school? Taking our milk and we're dumping in some cheese powder. Want to get rid of all of those clumps. We just want it swimming. It does need some butter slices. Let's pull up our beans. Ooh. Oh, man, this smells good. Let's see it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's going out. Ugh. Wow. You know I like my steaks medium well. Cheers. I'm surprised that she even bothered to show us that at the very least she's having a little bit of a bite before trashing at the minimum, in my opinion, $80 worth of food. That's Australian dollar, by the way. So I'm not sure how much that is US. It could be $40, $50 if I'm correct. But I took it upon myself to tally up the cost of this video. And with the beans, potatoes, Deb, powdered mash, steaks, onions, capsicum, and the bottle of milk, it came to a total of $112. Let that sink in, let it in. Now, this is just my estimate from using my eyes and Google, and I could be a little bit off because I am half blind, unfortunately, but it's actually astounding to me that somebody would even spend over $2, $5, $10 at that on one of these brain rotting TikTok videos. And this particular influencer who has a large following capitalizes off this kind of waste. And honestly, each to their own, you know? If you enjoy watching content of somebody intentionally wasting food, then enjoy your sludge, you little AI drone bot. But I have to say, I do find it quite interesting to how this person responds to criticism. Now, given this comment is a little harsh, I think just because they're using swear words, they are kind of spitting, in my opinion. You are absolutely full of poo. I've tried so hard to 
to get these fake R reels off my feed and they still show up. WTF, not even starving children of the world would eat this poo. Such a waste of food, why? For effing views and hate comments. I gotta be honest chat, if I had little to no access to food, um, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gobble that up. I'm gonna slurp it up. I'm gonna munch it. Fortunately, most of us have never had to deal with such a problem, but in a situation where I had to eat this muck or go hungry and starve to death, I'd probably eat this muck. I, you know, scoop that up, mm -mm -mm, eat it like groceries. She responds with, doesn't help that you comment on them. So you're telling us that you acknowledge that you're wasting food for hate comments. Ooh, shit. And her minion says, it's all for fun, chill the F out. If you don't like it, block it. And I mean, the minion is right about one thing, block the person. There's no use getting all riled up over somebody constantly coming into your algorithm when you could simply just block them from your plane of existence. I'm not afraid to admit that I block people all the time because there are certain kinds of content that I'm just like, I don't like it. And I also don't like you. You don't really need to explain why why you don't like it, you can just simply block it. Like if I'm on TikTok or Instagram Reels and I come across somebody who is just slurping and chewing and smacking their lips, the second that I scroll, uh, blocked. My misophonia doesn't like you and neither do I. I don't know why, but I just get this like utter rage, this red rage, this blind red rage when I hear those noises, it drives me insane. But all things aside, I do understand where the commenter is coming from. It's gotta be such a dystopian experience opening up Instagram after you've just tried so hard to get food stamps and you don't meet all of the requirements because maybe you're not this age. Maybe your kids are too old and apparently kids that are too old don't really need to eat anymore. But you've had a limited amount be approved and you're watching somebody literally wasting food. You come across this woman who is not not only throwing money in the trash, but food alongside that too. Like I'm just thinking about the people who cannot afford food in general, but then here we see someone is able to afford that 10 times over and they do nothing good with it. It's just in the trash. And I think especially in this economy, it does not make sense what is happening here. Like food wasting influencers shouldn't even be a category of an influencer. I genuinely thought that influencers were trying to do good in the world and trying to make good in the world and trying to influence people to do good. But this is not doing anything. It's just rage bait. It's just content that's made to make people really upset because it is an upsetting thing seeing that person perfectly fine food is just going to waste when it could have been in someone's mouth, when it could have been in somebody's hungry belly. It's ignorant, annoying, and shameful. Who doesn't like a little Costco rotisserie chicken? Let this image marinate in your mind. Let it traumatize you even. Is that a damn washing machine chicken soup stew happening here? I want TikTok to be banned. Y'all don't deserve posting rights anymore. No, you're done. You were done, but yes, I do very much enjoy myself. A Costco rotisserie chicken. Ooh, in the deal, all you gotta do is put it on your table. Ready to serve. Yes, sir. Guess what the water looks like right now? <laughs> Wasn't too hard to find. Yes. Chad, join the live and see what the drink looks like when you come in. Shredded chicken. Anybody hungry? This is what happens when you give a man some money and a washing machine. They make chicken soup on a soft fabric setting. And there's absolutely no way bro is eating actual fungus built up in those pipes, swishing the chicken soup around. Like imagine all the hair and dust clogged up in that washer, all the spew, piss and bum from the kids' bed sheets over the past 
five or so odd years just marinating in that soup. For doing all this, sir, you can go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You stay put and you think about your actions and you let it marinate in your mind because what is this? What is this? But that's just the thing, isn't it? Where and when is the line drawn? From people dousing their chicken in dish soap to wasting a family-sized bottle of soy sauce for one noodle or a living, breathing, thinking person wasting over $100 on food to throw it out and now someone's using their washing machine to make chicken soup that wouldn't be safely edible. Like, of course, it's going in the trash. All these people have one key factor in common. It's stupidity. It genuinely does not make a crumb of sense to me what kind of plans these wannabe influencers have for themselves. You want to become famous and popular for wasting food? Good luck trying to make a career off of that. But funnily enough, some people have, and maybe I've got it all wrong. Now, some of the people mentioned in today's video and some people that I haven't mentioned yet, they get brand deals from food companies to continue wasting food. And I don't necessarily want to blame the influencer, you know, because they're already doing something stupid. But then it's like, as a company, you're willing to get behind something like this. It just doesn't make sense to me. So you can't donate food to the people in need, but you can give that food to these food wasting influencers just for them to chuck it out. I, I just don't get it. Like, I don't know, man. We talk about so many different things that we see wrong on the internet on this channel, right? But I cannot shake the gross feeling that I get from this topic. Last year, I remember briefly speaking about an experience I had in a grocery store and I went to go reach for a jar of posada. And as I'm doing that, I hear a mother on the phone crying because there's no more of the cheap brand of pasta, let alone there wasn't any pasta there available at all. And we all know that pasta is one of the cheapest meals that you can make, but it also goes a really long way. So not only is she having to come to grips with the fact that there is no cheap branded pasta, but there's no pasta available at all. Because early last year, up until I want to say at least October, people were still endlessly stockpiling on certain items. Pasta obviously being one of them. So this is one of the many reasons that I don't like food wasting influencers because you have people out there like that mum who is unable to find a certain kind of food. It's not available for her. It's not even on the shelves. It's not in stock. But then you have these food wasting influencers come in, buy up that stock and just put it in the bin anyways when there's hungry kids there's hungry people out there somehow this is just the way to go it seems and it wasn't too long ago either when I spoke about somebody who was constantly just wasting food and built up an Instagram off of it there are now so many people trying to follow suit so many people who are trying to become content creators off of that and it is just so wild to see. So with all of that being said, everybody, what are your thoughts and opinions on today's topic? It is a little bit more on the controversial side of things because you kind of have people who find it funny for some reason. And then you have people who are like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, there are hungry people out in the world and you just think it's okay to throw away food like that? Hell, you may be on this side or that side. Sound off in the comments section below. Thank you for your stay once again at Yappersville today, everybody. I very much, as the president of Yappersville, appreciate your residency. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your selves.